What's going on guys and welcome to episode 5 now of my Road to Glory series. You guys have been loving it in the last few episodes um, and I can't thank you guys enough. It's past 15 likes in the last episode guys, which is absolutely insane and I'm going to try and continue this series for as long as I can. Um, if you have any suggestions as well for this series, make sure to comment them down below in the comments section. But as you can see, we went out into the Liga BBV and we're looking for a quality quality striker we needed somebody that could bring us through the divisions even playing divisions such as maybe five downwards would be that good so we looked at Bakambu and we did sign him for 850 coins so there's one there with 27 contracts I believe and 88 fitness so very very good indeed guys so we got him straight in the squad and he is looking like a great signing very good stats on him and um, we couldn't use him in the first game because his fitness obviously but we were hoping to use them in future games. But we went into the tournament again, guys, trying to win this team of the season Ruben Castro card. In the first game I came, um, I was into, he'd already won the tournament, which isn't great for your confidence. You're thinking, you know what, this guy's going to be good at FIFA. He's already won the tournament. And the majority of the time, when you come up against people that maybe have the EA kits um, or have stuff you can win in the game, they are normally good. But... We did get the lead, 28 minute and great strike there from him as you can see. Then we got the ball here, great turn, great ball inside. There was Granero, another great turn. He was very, very good in that game. Unlucky with the shot, it did drop to Castillo, yo. Uh, Castillo though. Um, and even though he does have that 57 shooting, it doesn't really make a difference when you have got an open net. As you can see, we played a great ball through and somehow Castro got the end of this. Don't quite know how. I'm not complaining though. He banged that one into the top left corner to make it 3-0. Uh, and as you can see, that is how the game did end, guys. So we're happy with that win. We're happy also that we're a few to the next round of the tournament. Um, we're just hoping that we, we could get this uh, team of the season Castro card. It would help out a lot for the Serie A, uh, not the Serie A, the Liga BBVA squads because we wouldn't have to buy that striker anymore. We could use that Team of the Season Castro card who is quality, probably one of the best strikers in um, the La Liga. So, and to get him for free as well is just an added bonus. Right now, guys, the Serie A and Ligue 1 um, Team of the Seasons are out. You can get, I'm just going to quickly check, you can definitely get Sansun um, for the Serie A one. I'm not too sure if you can get anything yet for the... Um, the league in one, so I'm just going to quickly check that for you guys. But as you can, I just want to talk about this, right? See when you come up against this sort of team, how do you even stand a chance? He's got team this season Messi, team this season Griezmann, team this season Neymar, team this season Busquets, team this season Koke, team this season uh, Felipe Luis, team this season Godin, and team this season All Black. It just didn't seem fair. And guys, explain to me how this is a penalty kick. This is never a penalty kick, never mind a red. Watch this, you'll see it again here. We didn't touch the man, we, we we got the ball completely, didn't even touch the guy, and we get a red card for it. It's absolutely ridiculous, he is um, kind of rules this year in the game, it's just doing my head at this moment in time, but of course he did go ahead and convert the penalty, so it wasn't wasn't the best of starts, but as you can see here, a bit sloppy in the back here, Godin um, giving it away quite cheaply, we did get out of Granero again, he got unlucky hitting the post again, but there was Bakambu to make it one all. Then in the 50th minute, we picked it up with Bakambu again. Look at this great fake shot and what a strike into the corner to give us a 2 1 lead. And this guy didn't just have a good team, he was a very, very good FIFA player as well. Um, so we knew it was going to be hard to hold on. As you can see here with Griezmann, who cuts inside basically everywhere into Busquets and he isn't going to miss them there. Made it 2 all. Um, it was a very frustrating game to play just because. Of the team the guy had. Um, even if... He was a very good player. But even if you come up against guys that aren't great at FIFA. And they have teams like that. It's very hard to beat them. Um, because of the players they do have in their squad. As you can see. It just went downhill from there on. In extra time. Getting that goal with Messi. Then he picked up here. Um, with Koke. Great ball through to Neymar. Who took it inside. Played it right back to Koke. And somehow Koke finishes that one off. When you've got luck against you as well. As you can see there. You've got no chance in games like this. But to be fair, we did get a bit lucky there getting the goal. And I believe that was Bacambo's hat trick. So he's doing very well so far in the club. Great turn there from Messi. In fact, two great turns there from Messi. And a great finish into the corner to make it 5 3. And at this point, we were just clutching on straws. There was nothing we could really do. Played it into Neymar again here, who made it 6 3 just to rub salt into the wind, guys. And I was very, very annoyed in this game. It was just one of those games that. You're annoyed to lose, not because you think you deserve it, it's just because 
of how scripted the game feels. It felt very, very scripted. Yes, maybe the guy deserved to win it, but I wouldn't say he deserved to win, uh, score, what was it, four or five goals in extra time. It was ridiculous, guys. Um, but that's just how EA seems to work this year. A lot of people did need some contracts, though, as we went back in. Castro, uh, Granero, and Fernandez all needed uh, contracts. So we're kind of considering... Maybe putting some on a few. We didn't really put them in anyone because we don't want to waste our contracts at this moment in the game. Castro, though, we saw was going for quite a bit of coinage. Um, it was as if we'd made quite a bit of profit on him. We did try and see how much he was going for, and he was going for 800 coins. We bought him for 400 um, roughly last week, or a few, it was about four or five days before this. And to sell him on for 700 coins would be an absolute bargain um, for us, the fact that we got him up for 400 coins. So... We're hoping we can do that and make a bit of profit on that card, guys. As you can see, we're just filling up the bench with some more La Liga players as Fernandez had to go um, onto reserves because of that red card. We swapped the team around a wee bit, not much, but just a wee bit and got into a game in Division 10, guys. So we're really looking forward to hopefully getting back on winning streaks here as we just weren't playing well so far. So we really needed um, to get a bit of a boost. But this is going to be the last game of the episode and then... I have got a big trading method I did, which you will see after this, guys. Um, and hopefully you guys can go do it. If you're doing a road to go or something, this series will continue into FIFA 17. So in FIFA 17, guys, I will definitely be doing this series, starting right from the beginning, though, hopefully, um, so we can do it throughout the whole year, not just starting in May like I have been doing. Wait, May even, so it's even even shorter this series it's going to be. But as you can see, it didn't help that he had a whole PSG team and Alex Sandro. Ibrahimovic in there, he had um, Infound Cavani at left wing, 87 rated, who's like 100k, so it just was not helping at all. The fact that we were trying to rebuild um, and get some more wins under our belt, and he had that sort of team. As you saw, Zlatan scored, but then we came back, great ball across, and there we go, we get the penalty kick. It was a shocking challenge. You may, If you want to rewind and see it, it was at the edge of the box when we did cross it in. Um, and we decided to take it with Kachowiak as he did have the best penalties. Hit that into the right-hand corner um, and a really, really nice penalty from Kachowiak there, sending the keeper the wrong way. So we were feeling a bit more confident at this moment in the game, but sadly it could not last and the game did end as a draw. 1-0. Which is disappointing. I don't like uh, having draws and road to goalies as it just doesn't help the series out. It's basically, it feels like a loss. You want to try and get as many wins as you can under the belt. It doesn't probably help um, the fact that we're doing the, the, the Team of the Season Cups because you do get quite a lot of losses in them. So if my record isn't great, guys, it's not because I'm bad at FIFA. It's just because, um, you know, of the tournaments and stuff like that, guys. I will also, by the way, have my Shout Out Sunday series out today. It'll be after this video, probably about... 5, 6 o'clock I'll release that. Um, so hopefully you guys can enjoy that. There is not going to be any winners this week, guys. But if you want to get involved, make sure to do that. But into the trading method, we were going to use the bronze pack method, guys. Very, very, very good method. All you have to do is open a 400 coin pack. Um, if you can play as like Triori, for example, because of the League and Cup coming out, we sold them on for 400 coins, making profit back on the pack, and that is before we sell everything else. If other players sell like stuff like these, we can also keep the contracts as well, um, and the fitnesses, so it's very, very good for getting them, and also making profit, <coughs> sorry about that, at the same time. So, it was a very, very fun method to do. I opened about five of these. Um, some packs you don't really get much in, other packs you get a bit more in, but we tried to list as many players up as we could um, for prices, so we could get... As much profit as we could going into the next episode. We wanted to try and build some nice Serie and League and teams for the tournament, guys. Um, and we kind of needed more coins to do that. 1.4k is definitely not enough for that. We did have a few probably in our club from the free packs that we opened quite a while ago. Um, before I started this series. But the, the best way to do it is probably trading-wise. And this was the only method we could actually <laughs> afford. So we had to kind of do it this way. We are losing a bit of coins. I'm hoping to make them back. They'll make a bit of profit. I want to try and get up to about 2 or 3k. You will see in the next episode, guys. I know I've sold quite a few players um, when I look at it just now because, obviously, this gameplay is pre-recorded, guys. So, I have sold uh, Triori, I believe his name was, the PSG guy, and a few other players. So, make sure to check the next episode to see if we made any profit, guys. But, as you can see, Bukani. He looks as if he should be going for a lot, but he didn't. He went for 200 coins, which was kind of disappointing. Um, but, we can't really complain after getting players like Triori and stuff that will make us quite a bit of profit because of the Serie A and the um, League and Cups that are going to be coming out this Friday. In fact, no. 
Because they've already been out. What am I talking about? They're already out, guys. Um, and we also got a fitness there that sold for 700 coins. So we almost doubled the, the profit in the pack just with that fitness alone. We were starting to notice that the packs weren't getting as good as they started off to be. Because um, packs like that, you're just not really going to sell anything in the pack, are you? I suppose we could keep the two contracts and the fitness there. Um, which probably would have cost us 400 coins to buy. So it's a good way of getting them. Anyway, guys, if you haven't tried out this method, go try it out if you've not got a lot of coins. Very, very good um, for getting contracts, fitness, and also making profit. Can, it's not just about contracts and fitness. You can also make profit with this method. I have done just a trading method of this on my channel in the past, I believe. Um, so if you're going to check that out, it should be somewhere. It might be in the playlist for trading methods, actually. I don't know. Go check it out um, if you can, in fact, find it guys but if you haven't made it if you have made it sorry this far in the video so far and um, make sure to comment down below rtg and you'll have a good chance of winning shout out sunday next week guys a very 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 good chance hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video that is going to be the end of the video hopefully you guys um are sticking around and watching this series every episode if you are make sure to comment down below that you're enjoying this series Um, also comment any ideas you have for the series who should we buy in the next episode stuff like that and i'll try and get that done for you guys subscribe as well if you're new to the channel or you're enjoying this road to glory series or even both and apart from that i'll see you guys next time